popular machine used by technicians and staff alike is the, the bandsaw. The Union bandsaw from the outside looks like any other bandsaw. Obviously, cost-wise, it's again got a four horsepower motor. It fits in well with the higher range of bandsaws that are available on the market. Um, the cast iron wheels inside ensure that the blades held steady. The guides that we use are set top and bottom, and they're not soft brass, they are proper metal guides so that they don't wear. And obviously the bearings that we use in there are all sealed. Again, micro switches and key switches are a prime required by BS4163 2014. Uh, it comes complete with all guards, emergency stops, and micro switches as required. Right. Union BS42 H4 bandsaw, so named because it has a 420 depth throat on it, one of the largest in the market, and a four horsepower motor, which can take any wood that you wish to push through it. Um, safety features on here, again, we have a key switch fitted, so that only authorized use of the machine. Start stop buttons, an emergency stop button. We have a full blade guard, we have blade guides and setups there, and a rise and fall for the blade guard with the lock off. And we also have an under bench blade guard as well. So if I lower that down, we can show you the internal workings. You'll see straight away from here that you've got two heavy duty cast iron wheels both top and bottom. A safety micro switch so that you can't engage the saw when the door is open. And once this is open, this allows you then to gain access to the blade and to set the blade guards up so that they're correct. Okay. Once closed back up, the micro switch is then engaged, which will allow this, the saw to turn on when you engage the key. Put everything back in position. You will notice on this bandsaw there is a, a wood dust collector at the bottom which takes the dust away from the saw as it cuts through. But in most cases, 60% again of the saw dust is created at the cutting level. So we have a fully adjustable hood that you can fit to make sure for any width or size of wood that you've actually got in there. We've got a fence and it comes also with a push stick that you can set up if you're doing woods on that. We have a tilt facility as well. But again, if you're, because of the way that the, the saw is set up with the, the actual blade guides, if you've got any small pieces of wood that you need to put through, this turns over 90 degrees so that you can get it right into the blade. And that locks off in position. And that will just square the bed up so that you're always cutting on a flat surface. With this particular one, you have to turn the dust extractor on before you start cutting. If you've got any angles that you need to cut, rather than making jigs up, you can actually undo the lock on the bed. And turn the bed to suit. There is an automatic lock off on 90 so that once you've got it back over you can lock it back in position and you're good to go. The only thing that we can't do is manage the machine for you. We can make it as safe as we possibly can. This again is another machine that HME fit a key switch to so that only authorised users can use it.